This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Global Defense Force, a game where we shout GDF instead of EDF, even though you're fighting for the Earth Defense Force in Global Defense Force, so... EDF! EDF! Well, that's one way to rid your clock tower of giant insects in Global Defense Force for the PlayStation 2, also known as Earth Defense Force 2. An emergency call from London brings the news. All have feared, Gigantors have struck once more. So, these were originally released as a budget series of games in Japan and eventually made their way to the West, gaining popularity with the amazing Earth Defense Force 2017 on Xbox 360. This is an earlier game on the PlayStation 2, but it's pretty much, you know, the same thing. You shoot a lot of insects. And monsters. Don't forget the monsters. And robots. Oddly enough, this was never even released in North America. I'm playing the European version on our pal PlayStation 2. And yes, it's an amazing game. The only game that could do it better is Earth Defense Force 2017. Which I believe is technically Earth Defense Force 3. Now, if you've been watching Classic Game Room for a while, you're, you're required by law to have done at least two out of three of these things. One bought a Vectrex, two played Truxton, and three picked up a used copy of Earth Defense Force 2017. It's a brilliant game, tons of fun, and this is like a rougher version of it. With less polish and less of the hilarious dialogue in the background. I really miss that. But we get two character classes here, piles of weapons, the familiar five difficulty settings, and a great game with a single player campaign that can also be enjoyed co-op, split screen, with one of your buddies. So you can both shout EDF together since you don't have squad mates doing it for you. In fact, you can even bring back some favorite lines from Earth Defense Force 2017 like, Do you like death? Then die! Now, if you've never played an Earth Defense Force game, shame on you. Also, I would start with Earth Defense Force 2017. It's dirt cheap these days. Ah, uh, who would wear a miniskirt into combat? Really? One of the many things that makes Global Defense Force or Earth Defense Force so much fun is the wide variety of ridiculous weapons that you get. You start out really weak with just a machine gun and a rocket launcher as you play through each mission. You pick up armor that increases your overall health, and also unlock crazy-ass weapons. Like lasers, flamethrowers, guided missiles, and all kinds of other fun things to use to kill aliens, robots, and giant spiders, and monsters, and whoever else gets in your way. Good times. I'm glad to see the series continues. I thought Earth Defense Force 2025 was almost as good as 2017. Careful where you fire, that thing is easy to blow yourself up. I've got a huge, giant insect-sized thank you to send all the way to Christoph from Armstead, Germany. Thank you for sending GDF! If you love the EDF series and want to see an earlier version of Earth Defense Force 2017 or one of the newer ones, pick this game up. If you have a PAL PlayStation 2, or a way to play PAL. PS2 games. If you like giant monster movies, Godzilla, Mothra, and mowing things down with a machine gun that explode into purple blood and guts, then you definitely need to play an EDF game or Global Defense Force. 
You probably won't make it through the entire game on normal without replaying some missions and getting some more armor and weapons. What I always like to do is play some of the earlier missions on hard to get some super cool machine guns and stuff, and then try the later levels on normal. But you've got pretty much endless hours of fun here with Global Defense Force. <laughs> <laughs>